Hey y'all, we are going to make some hot German potato salad. And if you have never had this, you need to try it because it is so yummy. Way back when we were at LSU, we used to go to this little place that served it. And this, all we get is just a serving of this because it's so good. So there's several steps to it. I've already um, cooked my bacon and it's right over here. I crumbled it up. Now I'm going to cook the onions in the bacon fat. So I like to use red onions. They're a little bit sweeter. And while and you don't need to cook them for very long, just about three or four minutes. I'll just share this my mama's thing. That's sweet. So I have the potatoes on the back burner right here cooking. They're done. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in a colander and with a rag under, with just like a dish towel underneath it. And so they'll drain just enough. Um, now, to my water, I added some salt because you want to, you know how you salt your pasta whenever you're cooking it? You want to salt your um, potatoes when you're cooking them as well. So this recipe is a few steps, but it is so delicious. And once again, you don't have to turn your oven, so it's nice to have that uh, ability not to have to turn your oven since it's so warm outside. So I've been trying to find some recipes um, that we do without having to turn on our oven or just to turn on the oven for just a little bit. So I think we've had some really good ones. So here are my potatoes. Now I'm gonna put the, print the recipe for you on a separate post, so that seems to be what everybody likes better. So that's what I'll do. And my, you can see our onions are cooking really nicely. See it. So the next thing you do is add in your mustard. So it takes some mustard seed. Add that in and stir it in. And then this is apple cider vinegar. Now, when you add apple cider vinegar to your pan, it's going to... Um, Sometimes it kind of bubbles up. <laughs> so you have to be really careful. It's bubbling up, but it's not as bad as it, as it could have been. So you stir that together really well. So we've cooked our bacon. We've cooked our onions in the um, bacon fat. We boiled our potatoes. And I like to use the little fingerling potatoes tricolor because I just think it's prettier. <laughs> That's the other reason. And then we're going to add just a little bit of oil. So I have, you know, what it is, is that vinegar, whenever it starts cooking, because there's not much in there, it gets in your throat. <laughs> um, anyway, so my little Coco is just walking around this morning, wondering what we're doing. <laughs> so here is the dressing. Now I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. You know, let that salt out. Let's see, it's our pink salt. It's interesting, isn't it, because it's, um, the vinegar is strong enough that it hits your eyes kind of like hot sauce does. Salt, a little bit of pepper. I, um, we love potato salad every which way but we shall. <laughs> we just love it. And so it's kind of fun to have this recipe that's just a little bit different. So then you want to take your potatoes and you add them to the dressing. Now remember, I told y'all this is hot potato salad, so you want to serve it warm if you can. You can easily serve it at room temperature too, so don't let that stop you. But um, it's got a lot of really good dressing. And what you want to do now is stir it and make sure all the potatoes are covered in the dressing. And really, since the potatoes are hot, They'll actually soak up the dressing more whenever you put them in the bowl. So I'm going to stir, 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 and get make sure all the potatoes are covered in this beautiful dressing. And then I'm going to add the bacon back to it. So here we go. But I, I cooked the bacon until it was really nice and crisp, and then I cut it up. Um, but I think the bacon does need to be crisp for this to taste the best. <laughs> and you know, a lot of times we put pickles in our potato salad 
but because you've used so much vinegar, you don't need to do that. So you're good to go with just this. So here is our serving bowl. I'm having to do this at a different angle since I was going to cook. So I'm trying to get everything right there. Now this is a little heavy, so give me a minute to get it in this bowl. Oh, God, that's pretty dead now. So here it is, y'all. And now what I'm going to do is, now I've already salted these potatoes several times. You really do need to taste for salt, though, because potatoes love salt, and they kind of um, absorb it a lot. <laughs> so you sprinkle some green onions, the sauce parsley, <laughs> and then I thought it'd be pretty to sprinkle some celery leaves on there because, you know, we always use celery in our cold potato salad, but... Um, it doesn't call for it, but I just thought, wouldn't that be pretty? So here it is, y'all. Hot German potato salad from Miss Dana's Kitchen. Bon appetit, y'all.